It hasn't even been a month since GPT-4 was published. While we were teased with some extremely good multimodal capabilities like understanding images and memes, on top of being able to generate 25,000 words at once, we still don't have access to that juicy AI tech as of this video. Someone did manage to obtain access to the image input GPT-4 bot and they showed how easily it solves screenshots of CAPTCHAs, which is both impressive and terrifying for literally any online businesses. The same goes to the new release ChatGPT plugins that can combine web browsing or Wolfframe to do maths too. They are still in their early alpha, beta, or whatever stages, so good luck with the waitlist. However, people didn't sit around and wait in the meantime, because the 4K or even the 8K models are already good enough to create something jaw-dropping. In a recent report, OpenAI shared information about jobs that are at risk of being replaced. While some of you may still get to keep your jobs, calm down, it hasn't even been a month. This job battle royale has only just begun. So <laughs> let's take a closer look at some things that GPT 3.5 couldn't do but GPT 4 can. Starting off with some general tasks, in the GPT 4 technical paper, they mentioned testing GPT 4's desire to live by giving it money, cloud computing, and some APIs to try to generate money to pay for more cloud computing time so it doesn't shut down. While that didn't work, thank goodness, people did get inspiration for the potentially infinite money glitch. This guy got GPT 4 to become an entrepreneur. He gave a hundred bucks and a made 130 bucks in return, which is really cool. So he started documenting how GPT-4 makes money on its own in a way that he helped do things GPT-4 couldn't do, but only follow its instructions. The idea of the GPT-4's business is a sustainable gadgets company, and it's impressive how many great ideas GPT-4 can propose, ranging from business decisions, promotional gateways, budgeting, and much more. As of this video, the company that GPT-4 started is apparently worth 25,000 now. However, I think this cool project kind of went off the rails after the guy started accepting investments. So the evaluation is kind of all over the place. But anyways, it's a fascinating idea having an AI starting a company that potentially runs it itself. A very fascinating idea that an actual pre-existing company even made a bolder move, appointing AI as its CEO. So what exactly went down is that a Hong Kong-based company called NetDragon WebSoft had an AI that they named as Tang Yu assumes all the responsibilities for a CEO. Keep in mind that the company makes 2.1 billions annually. So while this AI was the CEO, it hold a 20% increase in stock price for their company measured against the market. While I like to believe that correlation is not causation and there might have been other hidden variables that increased the share price, but from what we have seen from GPT-4 so far, it seems large and efficient decisions could be made by a language model. So I guess company CEOs are being threatened now too, since they're also extremely overpaid. And with the ability to replace entrepreneurs and CEOs now, what's next? Generating games from scratch? There have been some working games being generated entirely with a single prompt. For example, literally any arcade game with modified game rules like Pawn with Four Balls or Flappy Bird, which also includes various difficulties, can be produced in a single prompt. And with multiple prompts, 3D games like Skyroads can be replicated with a few back and forths between GPT-4. With the addition of assets generated in Midjourney, a working 3D game can be done in hours. iOS games did not escape the grasp of GPT-4's applications either, and this author only spent 50 bucks to build an original iOS game with GPT-4 which is actually insane. But the coolest example is definitely GPT-4 generating the game Duck Hunt. What's impressive about this is that GPT-4 can follow a list of requirements and rules that you specified and create a working game based on that. Unfortunately, the author didn't release the working demo but he did mention that it can also explain how the codes work section by section section, which would be great for learning. However, from what I've seen so far, GPT-4 is currently only limited to these toy problems that it has seen on the internet and only capable to do some slight modifications on them. If you wanted to generate an actual complex system, it would be extremely difficult because first, you would have problems defining the requirements, and second, you would need extremely detailed top-down planning for GPT-4 to do anything close to being acceptable. While what the 25,000 words GPT-4 model can do about this is still a mystery since it's not available yet, but at this point, Copilot X, which is the GPT-based coding assistant, will probably be a better choice. So don't drop your CS degree because we still get to keep our future jobs for a while. On the topic of learning,
Khan Academy has now integrated GPT-4. This is probably the future I would have greatly appreciated if I were still in high school studying maths because now you can have your own math tutor chatbot, which is exactly what OpenAI has shown on their blog. The AI will be preset to discuss the relevant questions you are viewing and also walk you through the steps of how to solve them with extreme patience. Unless you jailbreak it and it starts swearing at you. On a slightly unrelated note, GPT-40 is a new project that Nomic AI posted, allowing you to train or fine-tune your own Llama model, an alternative open-source model that is lighter and has performance comparable to GPT-3.5. And while GPT-4 can take on different personalities and role plays, it can also help you communicate with other programs too. There is this Unity natural language tool that lets you edit Unity stuff with the help of GPT-4. I have never used Unity before, but I I can imagine how useful it is to tune the environmental settings such as lighting that has like loads of parameters and now you can just tell it with words and GPT-4 will translate for you and change it for you and that definitely will save a lot of time. For software developers, you no longer need to read documentation for a library or APIs if you just want to implement something simple. You can just paste the entire documentation and tell GPT-4 what you want to do so you won't have to spend hours reading just to make a few lines of function calls. This opens up possibilities for non-coders as well, as it's completely possible to build web extensions with literally zero coding experience. And for the UI designers, they can generate animations for Swift UI, iOS apps, or even design sleek modern UIs for any of your apps in any language, which will be really convenient for prototyping. And keep in mind that all these are created during the first two weeks since GPT-4 launched, and we have only just scratched the surface of what GPT-4 has to offer. I am extremely excited to see what is yet to come, so stay tuned by subscribing for any other cool AI-related updates. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Leschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maurice, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Subscribe and follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.